It was a busy day for vendors today, but some took the time out to speak out on matters affecting them. Well, we don't really mind pain, but we need better servicing because of they want us to pay on Mondays, but we need a meeting. We have views we need to say too. Just like how they could send out here, we could say something too. We don't even know who is the tongue one. We don't know nobody. And we don't know what's going on in tongue, but all they do is sending out message. Been there for over 14, 15 years, and the $10 is too much on the road. I can't afford it. I just only come out two or three times a week, and I cannot pay $60. I'm not paying $60 because I don't have it. So the need to do something about the charges, if they wanted to report a dollar, it is okay. But all $10, it can't work for me. With the amount of sales, I guess. What sales? Nothing selling. I just, just sell cologne. I just sell plastic bag to pay for the upstairs and stuff like that on the road. Because how people don't eat cologne, it's once in a while they just buy it, and that's what I just vend away with. I've been about 18 years. I hate the treatment, what I'm getting now. Joel Poyer, who is known for his social activism, was one of the persons picketing. He says he was approached by some vendors who said they are not getting anywhere with their concerns. Call me and a um, couple of them um, said, um, Poyer, we do, need you to champion the cause that you have been championing for us all the time because the situation is getting worse. You see, up to now we can have a dialogue with management of the market and we can have a, a, a dialogue with Tongue they sell because it's two different entities. Those in the circle say um, they bring them in off the street and situation are worse for them. Even those over yonder in the um, the market over there have issues also. Because those in the far one over yonder, they can't get anything sell. Hardly anybody um, goes over there. The problem with the toilet in the market remains an issue. One there's one toilet down here to suffice at least 400 persons. We just call in the vendors, plus the person who's come and play the um, shop and so on. So if somebody come and want to use, there's one cubicle close of toilet. And ever so often, it is flooding. And when it flood these people in this area, people are not coming to this area to, um, to play the trade. Some vendors say today was a bad day to pick it as it is the day when they try to make the best of sales. So they remained inside. We have a table outside with we pulling over it out the sun and they put we inside in the sun to sell Andy Groom for five dollars and that is unfair. We're supposed to have we flea market outside in the road on Fridays and Saturdays and the rest of the days who they could come inside the market. This is not fair to us because we are humans. We all is human and they're supposed to show the vendors some appreciation because our money counted too. Yes, our money counted too. Our money, when they take from us, it goes to do something to the country. So they're supposed to do it, they're supposed to do it to the vendors. Call a meeting with the vendors and see what they could do different. Others say they have been threatened by officials in the town board for speaking out and feel frustrated and hopeless. SVGTV has been attempting to contact the warden for the town board for the past two weeks, but we are always told that he is busy. He was also busy today when contacted for a comment. Larissa Pogsley Kid, SVGTV News.